When I first started learning how to code, I got stuck in an endless loop of tutorials and everything felt overwhelming. Variables, loops, algorithms. It was like learning a new language with no guidebook. But what if I tell you that what finally made it click for me wasn't just watching videos or reading documentations, but rather it was building projects that forced me to learn and not just watching random tutorials. So in this video, I'm sharing the five projects that transformed me from a confused beginner into a confident programmer. And trust me, by the end, you'll want to try at least one of these yourself. So my coding journey started with something simple, a calculator app built using tkinner. It was my introduction to creating user interfaces with Python, though it wasn't flashy, but it was the perfect foundation for understanding how to connect code with users. This project taught me event handling for buttons and logic building for implementing calculations. This was a simple project, but it gave me a strong foundation and intuitive for creating user-focused applications. Next is Finger Rumble, which was one of the most exciting projects I worked on. It is an interactive web application that combines deep learning with gameplay, built using TensorFlow.js. It detects and classifies hand gestures through the webcam, offering a hands-free and engaging experience. While the concept was ambitious, it became a turning point in my understanding of AI-powered interactivity. This project taught me how to utilize transfer learning to train gesture classification models directly in the browser and gave me hands-on experience with web deployment using Netlify. It was a challenging but rewarding journey that demonstrated how AI can make everyday interactions more engaging. Next, creating my portfolio website was a pivotal moment in my journey as a beginner. It wasn't just about showcasing my skills, but it was about learning how to design and build something professional and personal. I crafted a responsive and visually appealing website to highlight my projects. It was a practical exercise in web development that also gave me a platform to present my work to the world. My next project is MathKid. Developing this project was a fascinating experience for me because it combined education and also deep learning. This web app recognizes handwritten digits, making it an engaging tool for kids to improve their math skills. I built it using the handwritten MNIST dataset. It taught me the complexities of training deep neural networks with frameworks like TensorFlow and Keras. I also learned to integrate OpenCV for digit recognition and enhance performance analysis using visualization libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn. What made this project special was its purpose, creating a fun and interactive way for kids to learn while applying cutting-edge AI techniques in a practical, user-friendly application. My favorite project so far has to be LeafScan because this was my final year project at university and was indeed a milestone in my coding journey. This web application detects and classifies tomato plant diseases using transfer learning with the Inception Vi 3 model. Leveraging the power of pre-trained deep learning models, I fine-tuned it to identify diseases like early blight, late blight, and bacterial spot. The project not only deepened my knowledge of machine learning pipelines, but also taught me the practicalities of deploying models on the web using TensorFlow.js. LeafScan was more than a technical accomplishment. It demonstrated how technology can solve real-world agricultural challenges, making it one of the most rewarding projects I've ever worked on. But one thing to note is that each of these projects you see is more than just lines of code. They represent opportunities for me to learn, grow, and create meaningful solutions. And I want you to remember that coding isn't just about writing programs, but it's about building tools that connect with people and address real world challenges. So thanks for watching, and as always, take care.